bit. The letters. So what did you find when you were going through the letters? You said you read them at 10 and then so what did... So when you're a child, um, it's hard to conceptualise things with depth. So something like a severe mental illness, a child isn't going to be able to understand. Mm -hmm. So I would take her letters at face value. So I would read her saying social services are evil people who took you away and you were stripped from me and these people don't intend what's best for you. I Part of me would take that at face value. Mm. I've always been cared for enough by my adopted parents to know that there was something wrong with her. So whilst I would know when reading it that I was adopted for my best interests, her voice would swirl around in my head mm. and I would have those doubts. And what happens as a result of that is the fantasy. So I, uh, this is going to sound really cringe, but I often had the Tracy Beaker fantasy. So, you know, Tracy Beaker has this image of her birth mum mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. she says, you know, she's got the best car. She's really cool. She's coming to get me one day. It wasn't with me all the time, but when I'd get in trouble, or when things were bad at home, as they are for everyone at some point or another, that would pop into my head. And I lived in that fantasy place thinking, it doesn't matter that I'm sad now because one day I'll be reunited with her and everything will be good again. That's not cringe, that's just sad. That makes me upset. <laughs> it's, it's so funny talking about these things with people because it's like I was saying off camera earlier, when I was at school, you know, I would be sharing all these things thinking they're really cool and unique because it's different. Mm. But that's because when you're a child, there's a bit of a disconnect to understand that all of this stuff is you. Yeah. So mm. you mentioned the life story book. I'd never got one of those. I didn't get one till I was 16. There were a lot of faults in my adoption by social services. Things weren't carried out particularly well. And there were occasions of leaks, um, which is another story. But, you know, I, 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 I'm so open about these things and that's what is my sort of saving grace in all of this is that I do know everything and I have been given enough in information that as I've got older, I've been able to conceptualize it. But the kind of downside of that is that I don't, I don't quite realize that it is really sad. It is mm. a really sad thing. That's, a, that's just a reality. Y you know, but because I've always known, I can't imagine anything else. So to me, it doesn't sound as heartbreaking as it might sound to someone mm. from the outside. Um, but don't get me wrong, you know, that's a that's a journey. That's a journey to conceptualise that that happened to me and that it's not just some story and that it's my real life. But mm. what you say about the, um, the letters, I do regret reading them as young as I did. But I do think it was necessary for me to have read them and not waited till I was 18. Why? Because it's a connection it's that filling the void in a way because when you are removed there is a void like we mentioned the, the body knows and whether you know you're adopted or not there will be a void and there will be trouble with attachment um you know it depends on the case but only talking from personal experience i was obviously taken from my birth mother then i was placed into foster care so Already one, att one attachment's broken. I formed another. I was in foster care for probably a, a minimum of six months. So can I ask how many foster carers you had? Just one. Oh, okay. That's really And it was a lady. Her name's Linda. If you're seeing this, Linda, hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then that was broken. And then I was placed in an adopted home. And the reason I say broken is because your attachments. Sorry, because I'm ignorant. What's the difference in terms of why do people not maintain an in foster homes is that just because you said you only had one carer so why didn't she adopt you and why did so she was going to so uh, she she would have adopted me if i had been there by the time i was one um but she did already have her own children as well and, and quite a few of them so i would have been the only adopted child among a bunch of birth children and 